Is jockey roti blood sugar friendly? This is part 6 of a series to test the effect of different flours on my blood sugar and find the best options for PCOS and insulin resistance. Today, I'm having two rotis made from 40 grams of jorka atta or barley flour to test its impact on my glucose levels. I'm tracking my blood sugar using a continuous glucose monitor, so let's check my readings after a few hours. So here's what my CGM recorded. My blood sugar rose by 56 mg per dl and took around 3 hours to come back down. With insulin resistance, my goal is to keep my post mean spike under 40 to 50 mg per dl and return to baseline within 2 and a half to 3 hours. In this case, the spike was just above my target range but still within a manageable zone. This result is significantly lower than the spikes I got with all the other grains I tested so far. In fact, almost a 20 to 40 point difference. Based on these results, barley flour clearly stands out as the most blood sugar friendly option among them. So why did this happen? Barley has a much lower glycemic index than most grains leading to a slower, more stable rise in blood sugar levels. It is also rich in beta-glucan, a type of soluble fiber that slows digestion and blunts glucose spikes. That slower digestion may also explain why my levels took a bit longer to return to baseline. In a few days, I'll try experimenting with some lower carb flours to see how they affect my glucose response. Let me know what you think in the comments below.